What's up guys, welcome back to another Revit Tools video. In this Revit Tools video, we are covering the measure tool. Measure between two references. I mean, it's very simple. I mean, you think you don't need tutorial on this, and I didn't think I did either, but hey, it's it's got a little more than you think. So what I'll do is I've got a basic floor plan here, and I'll click the, I'll click the tool, measure. And so now I have crosshairs, and if you look up here on the left, you'll see total length. And I'm gonna just click anywhere, and you can see that I get these these basic dimensions. They're basic temporary dimensions with the angle as well as the length. And if you look at the top left again, that total length you can see is updating along with the the line that I've created. So I can hold Shift by I can hold Shift to constrain that measurement to 90 degrees much like the ortho tool and other programs and as soon as I click I have that temporary dimension that stays and again I, you can see it over here is the total length again very simple as soon as I click again that's gonna go away and I get to basically restart using the tool and you can you see you've got the angles the different dimensions it sticks and something I like to do actually is click this chain and so maybe you've got different some different dimensions that you want to see all at once you don't just want to have one segment that you have to go one at a time you probably have a number of things you're dimensioning to at the same time to try and get the dim correct dimension so if you click chain and check chain there as soon as I click again I'm now prompted once again to <laughs> use the tool but unlike when chain is unchecked I still have this first dimension sticking and also the great part about that is that the total length it is updating like it was before but now it's adding that first dimension along with the second dimension so that's very nice very helpful if you have multiple different dimensions you want to see and stay on the screen as well as getting a total length added up immediately so that's very simple you can change the angle all the time you can get as crazy with this as you want you can see I've got a, just an obscene amount of dimensions that you would really never do but at the same time, I'm getting this total length right there. And as soon as I hit escape, everything goes away. It's all temporary. You don't have to worry about it sticking or staying around. It won't. Again, if I use the tool over here, I can see the exact dimension that's between these different openings and the walls. And it's all added up there in the total and top left. Again, very helpful. But another component that this tool has to it is measure along an element. So if you click measure along an element, you've got total length over here again, but there's no chain. It's just you're you're dependent on one element that you're selecting at this point. So now maybe it, it's typically going to be a wall or a line or maybe I think a beam or something like that might work as well. Uh, but this is not going to work with most elements, but again, mainly walls, lines, and beams. So if I select this wall, you can see that actually not even selecting, if I highlight this wall, you can see that I get that dash in the center of the wall. And as soon as I click that, I get these temporary dimensions that show up along with the total length there that matches the total length on the screen. So I can get the total length of that wall pretty quickly. It's a very nice way of doing that. Now, another way you can see that is if you select the wall, you can see the length in the instance properties over here. You see that length is the same as if I were to go to measure along, click, and there, same length. Again, that is going to be based on where the wall is split. So in this case, the wall spans the entire length. And if I click the wall, I have the entire, entire length of that wall. Now if I use the slice tool and I slice that here and here, so now I've got three different walls along this entire path. And if I select the measure along element, I get these different measurements based on the specific element. And in, the, in this case, the cut wall, it's going to select one at a time. And you, again, you can get the total length there in the center or there up here at the top left. So that's gonna do it for the, the measure tool. It's pretty simple, it's gonna measure. <laughs> so I might use dimensions if you want them to stick around, like actual dimensions, but if you really want a really quick measurement, you wanna see what it is, maybe add it up with the total length, I'd use that tool very often, very quickly. It's easy to get the result that you want. And moving forward, it's just simple to use, so. If you learned something, and I hope you did, please demolish that like button. It really helps. And if you would, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. 
I will see you in the next video.